This is Twit. The big one here, and this is one maybe we should try to digest a little bit, is Copilot Vision. Um, this is also experimental, so it's off by default. If you turn it on, if you thought recall was a nightmare, <laughs> so um, this will scan everything you do in real time, and it will offer you suggestions based on the context of what it sees. Now, it, they've learned something from recall, right? This thing is um, it, it is only alive while you're in the context of the thing. It dis- it disappears. Nothing is ever saved anywhere. It does, you know, it goes away immediately. There's no right. history. There's no anything like that. Um, it will, it, it's primarily from what I can tell really for the web, right? You're on a computer and you have, you're looking at something on the web and right. it, it, it's supposed to not work with paywalled content, uh, sensitive I don't know how content. It would know. I know whatever that means. Um, th- there's all right. This is one of those things. Like, I feel like I need to experience this before I can speak intelligently about it, which frankly should be true of everything. But Mm-hmm. Uh, limited number of Copilot Pro subscribers in the U.S. only, so it's going to be a really limited drip, drip, drip kind of a, a rollout. But it, this is like, what's up this with is the like, regional filters? This is interesting. Like, they yeah. clearly are afraid of the law. And yeah. even if it's restricted in the U.S., I bet you it's state based. Like, I'll bet you California doesn't get it. Uh, look, uh, among the many valid complaints about AI of any kind is the fact that in order to train the models to the scale and scope they need to. They have to steal content, basically. Yeah. They're scraping content, right? So, obviously, you don't want to go after paywall. Con- it may literally be as simple as, is the URL NYT, you know, nytimes.com yeah. or whatever. The, yeah. you know, you're basically uh, sorting the company. URLs by quality of their legal team. Mm-hmm. It may literally be that dumb um, or that simple, maybe mm-hmm. is the better way to say it. So, I don't know. I, 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 pre- I guess what I appreciate about this is just that they it, this time are acknowledging that maybe people won't trust this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with this might recall. make you uncomfortable. Mm hmm. So Steve okay. uh, Gibson yesterday did a big segment on mm-hmm. uh, that write up from the blog post from who was it? The, uh, the recall blog post. Um, oh, oh, the guy from Microsoft, David yeah. Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, went through it step by step. And uh, verdict was perfect. Good job. What was that first thing that they offered? Because <laughs> it was, was actually, well, I'm going to tell you in a second because we're going to get to that. It was exactly the same thing. That's what it was. Yeah. The, 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 the problem was they didn't, that, this, they didn't we're going we're well. we're to get to this because, okay. they, in fact, I'm sort of Fairly getting to it, it right all. now. This is, this is actually what I meant. So the, the, there are changes to, that's Copilot. No, sorry. That's recall. recall, which is a feature of Copilot Plus PC, but but an AI feature on your Windows computer, right? The, there there are two substantive changes that have happened since they first announced it. Um, one is they made it opt-in, right, instead of optional. This is a, a squirrely word um, that uh, someone said to me explicitly was opt-in. It was in fact opt-out. So that that's right. garbage. But they also addressed the other big complaint from critics, which is that you can uninstall it. So. That's if new, you, isn't it? Yeah, that's new. That's why those are the two big changes. But as far as all the technical diagrams and we're doing this and this and Windows Hello ESS and encryption and blah, that, that was all that was, oh, that was already there. Yeah, you okay. can go back and find it all in the original yeah. uh, post, which I referenced back in June when everyone's complaining. So about all it. they've done is modified the installer. I mean, look, uh, they they did a security review with a third party just to make sure that what they believe was true. They mm-hmm. they they also said that uh, it, because of the secure future initiative that they have, the new trustworthy computing thing, that it has to undergo, undergo an internal audit along those lines. Mm-hmm. They did that before uh, May, by the way, and it passed then. The, this is, the, a lot of this is um, just PR control. It's security right? theater. Yeah. Well, it, look, the, the security was always real. Right. Um, uh, the, the bit where the user is always in control, eh, sort of. I mean, you know, uh, opt-in versus opt-out is important. Mm-hmm. It really is. Like, that's, that's and this is why. So I this sort of, it, so-called enhanced sign-in security architecture is exactly what they talked about in yes, the beginning? Yes, this has been, I wrote okay. an article about this in May or June. That's this is, I explained yeah. what this was. This is, when everyone's like, oh, you don't, you know, these guys pull it out and they did this. Yeah, they didn't have Windows Hello ESS. You, right. you, you can't even use this unless you have it. Oh, I should say, sorry, there was a third change since we're on this topic. Mm. Um, they also changed the code so that you can't run this 
on a non Copilot Plus PC. Right. So that instance where those you know security researchers were ripping the code out of the Insider program and putting it on their normal yeah, PCs yeah. and then reporting that it was unsafe. They're right. not going to let you do that anymore. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if you want to see if it's unsafe or not, you have to use an actual qualified, certified uh, Copilot Plus PC. Still sounds like all they've done is update the installer. Look, I, 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 I love <laughs> well, they have this new I, I'm just, uh, dialogue, I, No, I love right? that you make this me is, not look cynical. Like, I, <laughs> this I, is I, new, I, right? <laughs> this, this, uh, this installer and in the, in the description is the new. The picture is new. Yeah. 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 The picture <laughs> is new. Is new. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't actually read it on your screen there, but yeah, the, it's kind of hard to read. Um, I, look, functionally, nothing has really changed, and and fundamentally, I still, you know, this is a very contrarian view, I, unfortunately. Although, but I, the, yeah, the point being, nothing needed to change. They just needed to right. actually explain how it was going I, to work. I'm so it's even, really interesting. I mean, here's Steve Gibson, who you know is paying attention. Yeah, yeah. really thought this was all new. Yeah. Uh, no, I know they're presenting it as all new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. And who was a very skeptical. He says, I'm still not going to use it, but it, but I was very, he was very skeptical about it. He says, Oh good. They've solved this with the VBS enclaves in the the VBS enclave literally is in the original post. I, I, I will just look when I defended this and everyone said I was an insane person. (laughs) I feel like I was the only one paying attention because this stuff was there. You can go see it for yourself. I'm not, you know, I'm not making it up. It's there. And I wrote about it. You can go see what I wrote about it back right. in May and June. So this is, like I said, not really new. But it doesn't mean they haven't made changes. Look, there, there could have been changes under the hood. They could have enhanced things or whatever. Actually, you know, like, for example, this one I don't know for sure, but I'm trending in a certain direction, which is uh, they talk about how with Windows Hello ESS, which is, just, you know, Windows Hello. So it's facial or fingerprint recognition. The fir- anytime you engage with recall, it has to do a, it has to scan you that time. It's it's similar to when you get a um, like a two FA notification Microsoft Authentic- Authenticator app. There's no time limit where it doesn't have to do that. Every time you have to authenticate yourself, right. it's doing that. Now, is that new? That one I actually don't know for sure, but but it's not new, right? Because that is how Windows Hello ESS works, right? That like that's anytime you're crossing this kind of security boundary, you have to make sure it's you. And so I, I don't, that one, I can't, I have to put an asterisk. I actually don't know because they never explicitly discussed it. And I just don't know if that's how it worked or not. That mm-hmm. may be new, but fundamentally, this is the same thing they were talking about in June. The, the difference is they blissfully acted like everyone trusted them and would love this without, and I told the story that day, mm-hmm. sitting in the audience, use of Medi, like, oh boy. I mean, I know my audience. I know how they're going to react. Yeah. The thing that, is weird about this to me is the overreaction, if you will, or the, I mean, that's not fair. The reaction to it was far more visceral and negative than even I imagined. Like I, I, I thought I could, you know, foresee how this was going to go. And I was off by an order of magnitude. People freaked out over this. So look, I, I'm excited to try this. I want to see what it's like. Mm-hmm. There People, is, I mean, the single big change is you can uninstall it, right? That's, that is know, a big change. Well, opt out. So it's, you, you're not automatically opted into it yeah. when you they sign got rid of negative it. optioning, but you can also remove you can it. Actually, right? remove it. That's not yeah. that it. Not that That's that it. means anything. Right? Well, you all could, you could say is it deleted the installer. Like, how would you know? Right. People said, "I want, I That's want IE point. off my machine," and so I deleted the icon. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. and then the They're whole happy. internet went down with you. Great, smart yeah. move there, yeah. Grandma. No, but um, so yeah, we'll see. I. The one thing I I always said, even when I was defending this back in May or June or whatever it was, was look, it's it's Microsoft. I mean, we still have to see this thing in the real world, right? Yeah, right. So no, we we yeah, I, everybody was very sure it was bad and had never actually seen it, right? So those same people and others that I, maybe I trust a little bit more will test this now on real computers, and, and we will see. I'm, mm-hmm. I can't claim and I that it's somehow perfect. It's going to work, but based on the way they describe it, and you know. I, it no. looks like they've done the right thing. I want a real expert at it on a Copilot PC saying, Bre- breach this thing, break it. I want right. you to break it. That's right. Show us something real. So they did do that with it. They won't name the company, but the company did try to uh, hack party. into this thing. And yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. they weren't able to do so. That's good. So, yeah. I wish um, they'd name them, but okay. Uh, well, maybe they will. Yeah, maybe this will come out eventually. Uh, maybe they want it to be out first, and then that would yeah, be the time yeah, for yeah. that discussion. It's kind of hard to say. Yeah, so. it'll be, life will be easier if there's a whole bunch of people hooked on it saying, I don't care what the security is. I want this. This thing's awesome. I can't live without it. 
Well, yeah. I think and that's what Microsoft's hoping because I think that's exactly if right. If it is secure, uh, then then it is going to be a really useful thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's going to be a very so, handy thing. I'm, I'm the, afraid it'll be really useful even if it isn't secure. Well, yes. but and it's this is dangerous. a problem because if it isn't secure, the first time somebody gets into it and it becomes mm -hmm. a big issue, there's a breach. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a big deal. And yeah. Microsoft's going to have egg on its face. Somebody, so it will, somebody will make it a secure. big deal. But my, you know, the average right, listen, mortal does right. not care less. It's disturbing to me that they're not offering this at the corporate level because there are plenty yeah. of corporate organizations who would be all over this. Yeah. I, I think we're going to get there. I, I, they, they, for all the craziness around Microsoft and AI over the past year and a half or whatever, they, they've really gone after this in a conservative way. And it may be as simple as it's just early, you know, we just did it, uh, you know, uh, this, it's probably limited in, in many ways. They were intending for this entire summer now into the time frame where now for it to be in preview and testing and it wasn't going to be. Yeah. And only you know, available on the Copilot Plus machines, but yeah, which only is the like Snapdragon the, machines. Like it was a very narrow sect of the market. It's so narrow. It's not even measurable. Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem. No, it really isn't. That's the thing. I, that, that's one of the important points. Even if everything... Well, it almost makes me wonder if they didn't want this deal with, to happen with, yeah. while we were oh, in the exclusivity geez. period. <laughs> okay. Like, when it um, blew up, that became useful for them. It's like, well, we should just wait. I, 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 this really undermined that launch, though. I, I don't think this was... I don't disagree. Uh, is it I, but possible once it went were, off, they found an upside. Is it possible there were warring factions within Microsoft? There People always are. Yeah, there, there was always somebody, are. Uh, well, there was a group okay, they really wanted this, and there was a group that said, "Are you kidding? This is a terrible no, idea." I, so, uh, you're, the thing you're describing is the type of conversation one has around like OpenAI and is this new model ready? And are we moving too fast? And is this thing going to take over the earth? You know, that it's like this existential thing. Mm -hmm. the, the recall stuff isn't exactly like no. that because it's local to a machine. It's protected by, you know. VBS uh, enclave, you know all the stuff that was already there. Anyway, it, it, it's it's encrypted. It's you know protected by Didn't Windows Hello OSS. It, it's not in the early, uh, you know, people who cracked it were mm -hmm. saying it isn't encrypted. That is that just because they weren't using it on a Copilot Plus PC? They were not using it on a, on a Windows okay. Copilot Plus PC. Yes, that's so. That, if you I, use it where it's intended to be used, mm -hmm. it's fully encrypted and and yes. not. And not this is like anyway. so one of the yeah so one of the one of the things that those guys said was I was able to log into a different account on the same right. machine and browse it. the disk and access it right. right which can't happen if it's encrypted <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you have uh, an admin account or whatever you can't do it you you can't as the owner of a company that deployed this pr uh, PC to someone see it. It, there's no way to see it unless you're you. That's okay. always been the case. Right. And I, I it's, I, I don't know. I, I can't, this, the argument over this makes me sad I, because this is where you see, well, you know, when CrowdStrike happened, there was this knee-jerk reaction that this was Microsoft's fault. Now, that type of thing is deserved to some degree. Mm -hmm. It's the burden Microsoft has to bear. But, okay, what happened happened. So, I think when this type of thing happens, and you know, Microsoft did have that VM thing out that was out in the world, and they got hacked, and what happened happened. That's bad. And then this thing comes along, and they're like, "Are you serious?" And then people say, "Oh, I put it on a computer, and I got into it immediately." It's like, of course, it's Microsoft. You know, this is why them standing up on a stage and introducing this feature so gleefully, mm -hmm. like it was something everyone would want. Which, by, like Richard kind of said, I guess is something everyone statistically probably does want. Mm -hmm. You know, most people. Um, and ignoring the security privacy aspect of it, I, that was the, that David Weston post that you were referencing is what should have been out that day. That day. Yep. Absolutely. hundred yeah. percent. It, it, yeah. it, it, it is irresponsible yeah. that they didn't do that. So lesson learned, I guess, but you know, Microsoft when, with security is like TSA, right? They're always fighting the last battle. So they solved the problem they created for themselves in May. Great. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but you know, you got to start being proactive here, guys. Uh, and I, I should say, I'm sorry. So they have. So this um, this feature that we were talking about, but have forgotten about now, uh, the Copilot Vision, they actually detail how this thing is secure mm -hmm. in great detail and nice, <laughs> right? Th that shows you that they did learn from recall. And by the way, it's not that I, I don't want to give them too much credit. This thing is so much like recall, yet sort of a weird high level that, I mean, 
anyone would have seen this. Like they should have, this is the right thing to do. But they literally list through all the ways they are trying to make this thing uh, secure and private, right? And I think that's really smart because, the, uh, you know, you, you can't hear something like this and not have that same trigger warning. Like, yep. are you kidding me? No, you're doing a, another one of these things? Yeah, it's got an uncanny valley effect. It just trips yeah. you every time. There's a, um, a feature that came on the new Pixels that's just called Pixel Screenshot. And the idea is that you, we all do this, I bet. My wife and I do this all the time, so I assume it's fairly standard for people. You see, you're, you're browsing, you see something, you're like, I want to remember this. And you're like, I'll take a screenshot. You know, like, yep. you know, it goes in, and then you never see it again. Whatever. So now there's this. Sc- goodness knows. Eventually, you run out of space, and you delete. Yep. And you're like, well, yeah, well, how come I can't store any photos? Yeah. Um, so, Pixel Screenshot will look at the screenshots you take with your permission. You know, you have to give it permission, right? It's mm-hmm. Google. It's not like they've ever done anything bad. And um, they, it will, uh, you know, I, it will do the text. It will text recognition and image recognition. It will do all this stuff, and it creates metadata, so that later you can go into that app. And say, I'm looking for, a re- I was shopping for a red sweater, whatever stupid example. And it's like, yeah, we got red sweater. And here we, we have that metadata because we created it the day you made the screenshot. Mm-hmm. That feature is a super limited and almost like stupidly uh, simple version of recall, right? Because recall, the way recall works is it's automatic. As you're doing things on your computer, yeah, it's, it's, it's taking screenshots all the whole time. Yep. And that's actually far more valuable, right? I don't always remember to take the screenshot or know to take the screenshot or mm-hmm. know, even know how to take the screenshot, I guess, depending on who you are. So uh, this requires you to explicitly take a screenshot. So the kind of knee-jerk reaction type uh, people who didn't like re- recall will look at this and say, oh, there you go. That's what they should have done. This, is, yeah. this, is, this, this one makes sense. Whereas I look at that and say, eh, I'm never going to use this because I, I mean, well, maybe not never, but I... It is so much less useful because you have you're doing the work. Yeah, you know, you're still taking the shots. I want this thing working, which is on why my you, people are comfortable with it because it's like if I don't want it to happen, don't take the picture. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I don't know. Look, maybe I, maybe there's a, a, an answer here that's in the middle where you do both and you give per, the person the uh, option, and I don't know. But Microsoft went the way they went. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll see. Let the cards fall where they may. I think it's going to be a game of 52 pick. It, um, it's been talked about in the Discord or in the combined channel here about what happens when the lawyers learn about this. Like, oh, yeah. Because of discovery, you mean. Yeah, like, when your uh, machine gets seized. Yeah. Right? Well, they well, have to compel you to unlock it. Well, that's, that's right. The, the, that's the interesting that, aspect. And now, or they're going to come at Microsoft to say, unlock this for us. And they can't. They Microsoft can't. can't. They yeah, can't. Which okay, is the really correct important. thing for Microsoft to do is to literally right. be unable. Right. That's exactly right. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.